On April 18, 2016, a fire was reported on the fourth floor of a six-story commercial structure in Champaign, Illinois. The responding fire team was outfitted with the header heads-up display system. You will be participating as a member of that team. In our vision for header, the system integrates directly with existing SCBA gear, requiring only the addition of a control unit and a new mask with an embedded display. Looking a little closer at the mask, you can see that the transparent OLED display covers the entire surface of the SCBA mask. This gives header a large, high-resolution display to present an augmented reality view to the firefighter. The firefighter filters and controls the data displayed by header using an augmented reality interface displayed on his glove. All of the controls can be accessed using one hand, leaving his other hand free. Header presents the firefighter with five data elements that appear constantly in his mask. Air remaining shows not just how much air is left in the tank, but also an estimate of how much time is left based on the tank pressure and breathing rate. Temperature and trend makes it possible for the firefighter to know how hot it is in the fire without putting himself at risk for burns. Exit path and egress points shows the firefighter the location of the nearest egress point. Breadcrumb path shows the firefighter the path he has taken to get to his current location. Team location shows the firefighter the location of all other firefighters on scene. Now that you've had a brief introduction to header, it's time for you to conduct a search and rescue. As you conduct your search, pay attention to the data displayed by header and how it helps orient you. Stopping at the door to the first office, you engage the thermal imaging overlay by swiping your hand down across your mask. With the thermal imaging overlay enabled, you scan the room. With the room survey complete, you disengage the thermal imaging overlay by swiping your hand up across your mask and continue your search. You work your way around the outside edge of the room to the point of entry and exit into the hall. Once you're back in the hall, you glance down at the back of your glove to check your radio settings and your vitals. As you are getting ready to continue your search, a radio call comes in. I found a fire. It's in the rockers between the third and fourth floors. You look at your left palm to see the on-demand options available and select the team status option. You then find Mincy's name on the list of team members to call up his status. After checking in on Mincy and seeing that everything is under control, you go back to the main on-demand menu to check for any contaminants in the environment. You move down the hall to the doorway of the next office. Once again, you scan the room with the thermal imaging overlay before entering the room. Before you can make your way into the office, the header system suddenly alerts you to a rapid temperature change. You turn around and follow your breadcrumb path back out of the office and into the hall. Just as you exit, the office is engulfed in flame. Right, you go ahead. Based on our research, we have divided the various data displayed by header into three categories, constant, on-demand, and alert. Here you can see the five constant data feeds. Starting in the upper left-hand corner, you see the air remaining gauge. This gauge shows you the pressure of air remaining in the tank, an estimate of the time remaining, and how many air tanks you've used. Next, the temperature gauge in the upper right corner of the mask shows the current air temperature and the temperature trend for the past three minutes. After arriving at these designs, we took them to the Champaign, Illinois Fire Department for feedback. Now, I like the model turning up the top, the temperature and the, uh, and the uh, air pressure. I like the, yeah, the, the air pressure definitely and, you know, the fact that it, 
really gives you really what's happening with your with your air based on your breathing rate and what air you've got left in your tank is mm -hmm. huge because that gives you a good accurate because some people get a little apprehensive sometimes when they're you know when they go on the you know when their low pressure air alarm goes off you know depending on where they're at and what they're doing they're like okay how much time do i really have mm -hmm. you know left so that, that gives you a good accurate um, and the temperature is huge. We talked about that before. Knowing what the temperature environment is, that's, that's and she, huge. And I know she had a trend line there. Yeah. Yeah. The system also constantly displays the nearest exit, shown as an exit icon painted onto the environment, including a distance to the exit. If the nearest exit is outside of the current view, the system shows the firefighter which direction to look to find the exit with the periphery exit display mode. The system also displays the location of all other firefighters on the scene. The location indicator shows horizontal position as well as relative vertical position. The firefighter can also call up additional detail about other firefighters, including name, company identifier, and altitude differential. Finally, a breadcrumb path is painted onto the floor, showing the firefighter the path he has taken through the structure to arrive at his current location. We focused on keeping much of this information within the periphery of the firefighter's vision, allowing him to stay focused on his primary task. You know, if, if, for me, if that's what I was looking at. Um, to me, the, the way our heads up is now with the, the LEDs are right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, to me, that's, um, and I don't, you know, obviously we're one every day, but to me, that's um, more distracting than something up here. Uh, yeah, you know, um, right. It's just it's right there, and it's. Um, I mean, as I see it forward right now, those are not bothering me yet. I know all I got to do is tip my eye up, my range of vision up just a little bit, and say, okay, there, there. Mm -hmm. Personal experience with heads-up displays, like even the the lane four digits that Scott has on their masks, mm -hmm. it, it really messes with your vision at night mm -hmm. uh, in your in your dark vision. And I think you, if you could overcome through colors or, or whatever because that green when you when it goes off that's all you're seeing now. it's not it's not he's not like it's pervasive the whole thing but you're yeah. you're that glow. targeting on that glow the second level of data on demand is accessed through a number of gestures using either one of the firefighters hands and can be further subdivided into glanceable data detailed data and immersive data here we see examples of the glanceable data as it would appear on the back of the firefighter's glove through augmented reality. In this particular view, you can see the current radio channel, heart rate, body temperature, system battery gauge, and radio battery gauge. By placing this data on the glove instead of within the mask, the firefighter's vision is not compromised, and he still has quick and easy access to a wealth of information beyond the five constant data displays. The other thing I liked was, although you had a lot of features in there, they, they're not in there unless you want them to be in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, that'd be pretty important. Mm -hmm. While glanceable data is shown on the back of the glove, detailed data is shown on the palm. Detailed data is arranged into a series of hierarchical menus displayed on the fingers of the glove and selected with the thumb of the same hand. Moving back up the hierarchy is as simple as making a fist and opening your hand. The glove thing, I, I, I like the idea of the glove thing because there's probably no other way to effectively do that. Yeah. But boy, would it have to be robust because those gloves get the crap beat out of them. You just really don't have any, you know, you can't feel or dexterity, you can't turn knobs and, and accurately just having know. Just to do that is, is, is good. I mean, that's easily done. Cool. Uh, keep in mind somebody's going to have something in in their hand most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the hose line, the tool or something. To help address some of the concerns raised by firefighters, we've modified the way the glove interface works, introducing a more deliberate action for engaging the interface and making the interface available on either hand simultaneously. Selecting an option will display the detailed data. Here you can see the team status detail view showing the video feed, air gauge, temperature gauge, name, and location of another firefighter on the scene. Immersive on-demand data is best presented as a full-screen overlay within the mask view. Here, you can see the immersive thermal imaging overlay. 
To enable thermal imaging, you simply swipe your glove down across the mask. Swipe up to turn the thermal imaging off and go back to the normal view. When we showed this feature to firefighters, they were incredibly enthusiastic. We first started with thermal imaging cameras. One was learning what the tool did, mm -hmm. but the other one was all of a sudden in the fire service, we're focused on this thermal imaging camera. Mm -hmm. and you got guys going downstairs and oh, falling yeah, yeah, floors because they're they're focused on this thermal imaging camera now, and they're not. Picture. Well, with this, you know, I can bring it up, mm -hmm. do my check, I can shut it off, then I'm back into real mm -hmm. what real vision is. Alerts are the final level of data displayed by a header. Alerts are managed and displayed automatically by the header system and are designed to give the firefighter as much information about the situation that triggered the alert as quickly as possible. In this view, you can see the temperature gauge has grown to fill the center part of the mask to alert you to the rapid temperature change. Within seconds of the alert being displayed, it will minimize back to its original location making it possible for you to shift your attention to whatever task the alert requires. Now that you've seen everything in detail, let's run through the fire scenario one more time. On the fire. It's in the rafters between the third and fourth floors. Message received. Thank you. 